I just gotta hit it falls upon me to goddamn it. Who gives shit, shit about your fucking manga? We're playing a video game. game. Now comes with Lorenty. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> fuck. Has this ever happened to you? <laughs> Itself kind of sounds like a fucking Twilight Zone episode in practice. Yeah. Yeah, they just made it a lot more old school. Yeah. Oh, I just oh, I stumbled across this book. I can write someone's name down, and they die mysteriously. This oh. belongs to yes. What Yagami? That was that was our our old joke oh, yeah, before I even saw that. Death Note. It was, was, it was, uh, yeah, what if he got... That was, like, Patrick's first response to hearing about what the show was about. Yeah, yeah, he just, Rayford... he would ever watch it. Yeah, Rayford is just, like, kind of told me the, like, the idea of Death Note and everything. And I was like, yeah, what if on page one of it, it had one of those, This book belongs to fill in the blank. Your name here. All right. I am the proper... Oh, fuck. <laughs> Okay, it didn't even fucking register that I was wiggling the fucking Wii mode. <laughs> fucking your turn. Okay. We're gonna be- we've already done this for about an hour and a half. God damn it. I'm already spinning on my head. I, I'm doing good, right? That's good. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, you're uh, you're already uh, losing your red heart points. That's a good sign. Oh, yeah. You're running directly into that, uh, support beam for that, no reason. That's the special, that's the strategy, yeah. though. You just pretend Fuck. to be incompetent. She did her. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's my drunken fist. Or beam katana. Drunken beam katana. Hey, have you ever watched that? Yeah. So, I watched this martial arts film years ago with my dad. Called uh, True Legend. I think it's on Netflix, or so at least it used to be. And um, the film has like, like halfway through the film, it has a completely different tone. Yeah. Was... And that like, the first half is really over the top, and the second half is fairly down to earth. But like, basically, um, basically, um, Chinese martial arts film. This guy's invading the kingdom. At the end of the first half of the film, like the main character manages to defeat the villain. But his wife dies in the process, leaving and like he in grief he just abandons his kingdom with his and like leaves the kingdom with his son. And they kind of just become drifters. And they meet some drunken dude who teaches him drunken martial arts. And he gives one of like the real like I I what the fuck? I, well, kill me then. Or hit like, me. When you hear about drunken martial arts, you don't expect someone to tell you like a big deep philosophy about it. Right. And he's like, he's all like, he's all like, what truth? Like, the, the drunken guy is all like, like he, cause like he tries to fight the drunken guy, and the drunken guy just dodges everything and like, and knocks him down and like laughs at him. He's all like, he's all like, you're looking for your truth, but what truth is there? But like, what truth is there? Like, like only like, am I drunk? Am I not drunk? Only the drunken master knows. The drunken, the truth lies at the end. He's like, the truth lies at the end of the bottle or whatever. It's all up to you to decide what the truth is. And it's like, he gives him like this big full The truth is speech. at the bottom of a liquor, Randers. And it's like, are you drunk? And, and like, cause like, even the main character is like, are you drunk? And the guy's just like, only the drunken one, only the drunken one knows. So drink with me so you can find out. <laughs> And he gives him like this big, he just, he teaches him drunken martial arts and gets him out of his depressed state. And it gets just a whole, it's just, it's just, like, I, I can't even say it's funny, it's almost, it's kind of inspiring, honestly, the way he... I swear I'm trying to do the fucking class. Yeah, it's not even registering it for him. Something's up. <laughs> Nope, get out of the fucking way, Travis. Fuck! Oh god, I got stuck on the fucking doorway. Yeah, I was trying to- Of course she was in between me and the fucking health. <laughs> I was trying to get in there. Yeah, this boss fight is hell. Yes, it is. What's that in your hand? What's that in my hand? In your hand? No, your dead father. <laughs> That'd be one way to psych her out. Make a fucking sword out of her dead father's leg. 
I mean, hey, in Walking Dead, Herschel your father's gonna kick your ass one more time. In um, in Walking Dead, Herschel made a so made a gun out of his missing leg. <laughs> it's some shit out of like a fucking uh, grindhouse movie. That actually, I mean, that happened in that happened in, in Planet Terror. Like the ending, of, like she puts a fucking gun on her thigh. Where her like, oh my, from like the thigh down, she puts a gun there to replace it. And in the ending, it's been replaced with like a Gatling gun. I mean, I, we've tried both. Sometimes we win, sometimes we don't. It's kind of weird. So I know the Wii, the Wii the motion controls can be janky sometimes. Some will win, some will lose. <laughs> some are born to sing the blues. Oh, the movie never ends, and this goes on and on and on and on. Like this fucking boss fight! <laughs> yeah, they're, 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 that's what they wrote the song about. No, stop! Why did Shinobu? Hold on to the Shinobu! Fucking bullshit! I hit me! No oh, wait, a lot of, a lot of saber juice. Four. Uh, me. I have to get more juice for my saber. <laughs> excuse me, I have to get more juice for my sword. Imagine ever having to say that phrase. <laughs> Excuse me, my sword. Juice. Be right back. My sword needs more juice. <laughs> that sounds. That actually sounds. Um, it's feeling dry. That actually sounds kind of violent. For draw <laughs> red swords. <laughs> drawing like dr like drawing a sword on wood. Yeah. Actually, no. You can also actually no. You can, be, you can also be spitting sake on it. That was a thing. That was a thing in like some media. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, they would um, they would spit sake on their sword. I feel like there was some uh, there was some show or book or whatever, mm -hmm. where the main character would spit so he would drink sake and then spit it on the sword to quote unquote mm. bless the blade. I'm back on controls. Okay. We gotta hang charge out up here. here. Charge up your spinny walk. Uh -huh. so is that a good time to talk about bloodstain? Sure, I haven't played any of it. So, but I've heard it's good. Really, I've... Bloodstain. Pretty damn good. My, I'm still early in the game. Um, might be. Um, there's an ever so slight chance that it might be some the other night as my favorite Castlevania game, even though this isn't a Castlevania. Hmm. That means um, I need to try it out. It's hmm. really, like, it's really good. Um, hitting all the right notes. So I'm hitting all the right notes. Good music. Good. Um, good. Responsive gameplay, lots of exploration and stuff. I don't have much, I don't really have anything negative to say about the game right now, outside of the fact, I mean, I'm playing on normal, which some people have said is um, not that challenging. Mm -hmm. Some people say, some people have said that like playing on hard is a lot more, is, some people say, some people have said to play on hard um, for a real challenge or um, because um, normal mode is. Kind of Normal is for kind of whips. If you want to be a badass motherfucker like me, you gotta play it on hard. If you're a true gamer with a three instead of an E. Do you think your girl wants a medium dick? She wants a hard <laughs> dick! She wants a jerk. <laughs> um, so, um, so funny thing, um, in the game, they're out of motto. You have to manually save in that game. There is no auto saving, and right. you cannot save in the prologue. The prologue part, the prologue of that game is about maybe is a good solid maybe twenty to thirty minutes long, depending if you don't know what to, um for your first time. Yeah. It's all twenty to thirty minutes long. You cannot save. There is indeed a boss fight at the end, but the game on normal it's fairly simple. You know, it's not that hard. On hard mode though, hard mode is actually hard, and you can't change the difficulty anytime you want. On hard mode, you can die very easily. There are enemies. There, in fact, there's an enemy that can damn near one-shot you at the very beginning. There's a mini boss you will fight very early on that can basically one-shot you if you're not careful. And Fun. my friend, he refuses to play the game on normal. And he has been stuck on there. <laughs> he has been stuck. He was stuck in the prologue for literally like two months before he beat the prologue 
Wow. And then he got to the main. He finally got to the main area of the game. And he um. And then he got killed by an ana by a deer or a moose or whatever. And he turned the game off and never played it again. <laughs> This is not worth the stress. You know, like, I've heard that's a really good game, but like it is my favorite. Yeah. It's one of my favorite games. Yeah, so it's it's, 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 <laughs> and it's, it's all like, because he started on hard. Him, but here's the thing: it's its first playthrough, and I keep telling him, "Dude, it's your first playthrough. Play it on normal." And he's like, "No, I gotta play platinum games on hard." And I'm like, "You have been stuck in the prologue for two months. Yeah. I beat the game." And the that, time, I beat the game before you beat the prologue. That's how slow it's been for you. Yeah, that reminds us of uh, of uh, our friend Reaper, who you've been you played cards with him before. We do cards against humanity, uh, and yeah, he has he has his own gaming channel, and uh, a lot of times he likes to take on special challenges, even from like mods in the game. Like I'm gonna do, he did uh, Metroid Prime Randomizer before he had actually played through all of Metroid Prime, <laughs> originally. And of course, you know, with Metroid, it's a very, like, you have to find this key item to get through this obstacle, or whatever. And, uh, but of course, and normally it makes sense there's a, there's a flow to it, but, uh, when you have it all randomized, because it was swapping, like, everything, sometimes he was supposed to get, like, the morph ball or something, but it would said be like one of the chosen artifacts instead. Or so one of like it's one of like the like collectibles you need for a puzzle at the end of the game. Uh, so he would have to track all over and do all these ridiculous sequence breaks before to get through it. And it's like, dude, just play it vanilla. Just play it normal. You first. know we're gonna upload this to our channel. I know. I'm calling you out. I'm calling you out, Reaper. <laughs> I know you're fucking watching this. Are calling now. This. We gotta make call-outs to other channels on the- And so hey, began the I'm Reaper making... Flash feud of 2019. Yes. All right, here come- All right, we- All right, Reaper. We heard- I heard that you... Have breathed air, but you've never breathed the air, like, the- Why did you breathe the randomized air first? You never breathed <laughs> You fancy motherfucker. All right, listen, I'm issuing the open challenge right now. If you got to beat, you need to play Vanquish, but you need to play it, but it needs to be your first time. And you need to play it on God hard for your first time. And if you, and you have to, and every time you die, you have to restart the game from the beginning. You have five hours to beat the game. Good luck. You have to do a Pokemon Nuzlocke where you only use one Pokemon, and if that Pokemon gets hit one time, if you go back to the beginning of the game. Magic you can only yeah. use card. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he at least has experience with Pokemon. He has, like, a whole channel just for, like, Pokemon stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, it's called Poke Reaper Videos. Yes. Check it out. Enjoy. Yes. Uh, but, yeah. I think he did, like, he did AM2R, but that... He did, I think he might have done it, he did on hard mode and randomized, I think. And he nearly shit. Yeah. To death. Which, I mean, we we do love watching him rage in video games. That's one of the joys of his channel. But at the same time, like, gamer to gamer, I'm like, come on. Man. You, you, gotta, do not, you gotta, don't do this to yourself. Don't do it to yourself. It ain't worth it. Gamers to gamers. Yes. From one gamer to another. To another gamer. Rise up. <laughs> That's all I have to say. And eat cream corn. <laughs> rise up and eat cream corn. And then spit it out. And the cream corn later, will then rise up through your throat and back out your mouth. Oh, that was a good channel. <laughs> Even though Eugene was big as shit. It was a uh, robotic bagel. I don't know if you're familiar with that channel, right? I don't think so. Um, robotic animal? Robotic, robotic bagel. 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 Robotic bank? Bagel. bagel. Oh, robotic yes. bank, yes. Like a robotic bank. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, uh, it started out with this guy's school. Well, just this kid. Who, sit in his, his bedroom and uh 
He would eat just random like basic bitch foods. And then like, go, like the like the California Pizza Kitchen. Yeah. And uh Focus. with with uh, one of the one of the ingredients was the calantro. And he would eat it and uh review the food. And he, he would always talk with the voice like this. He sounded like a Canadian Kermit, basically. Yeah. yeah. And there was the one time where he uh he ate an onion. He reviewed an onion that his dad bought for two dollars yeah. and he just Bit straight the fuck into it, and he was like, Tuh! Ooh, "It burns! It burns! It burns!" That was like a pleasant <laughs> individual. Oh yeah, and and the other time when he he uh he he, he reviewed ranch dressing, Hidden Valley Ranch, and he just guzzled it straight out the bottle he, because he, according like, to poured, his commentary, he poured a little out of a lid yeah. into a lid and then. Drank it from the because world. according to the comments, that was the only way to experience the true flavor. Yeah, according to the people who suggested it to him. And uh, and then later, uh, there was another person added to the channel named Yo Jam. And he talks like this. He talks like this, and he has big, fat ass glasses, lens, Coke bottle lenses, and he and he, he sits in his basement inside a cage for some reason. <laughs> There's a cage in his basement. And he reviewed like a cream. Like his parents put him in it or something. He sat down to review a cream card. And so he opened up the can of cream no, it was card. A, it went, he didn't review it, it was a challenge. It was a challenge. The cream card challenge. And he ate it and he couldn't hold it down, apparently. He didn't eat a single fucking kernel of it, all so came he back spread out it of all his mouth. Up. <laughs> and, like, it, it was a great channel because you, you couldn't tell at first, it was hard to tell if it was a troll. Or yeah. if it was, if it was completely serious, they were just some, legitimately some Stew just being this just dumbass kid in his bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> like I could believe Stu, but Eugene was a little much. Yeah, that was when I started going like, okay, this is fake. And then eventually they had a falling out, and yeah. it was apparently Stu locked Eugene out of the channel and all of that. Uh, and there was a whole thing where uh, one of them supposedly up. died. There was another guy, and Stu started singing It's a Mad Mad World. And then Eugene and like, in the comment section was like, he li tried to lift up a Because a like, like the, guy died, the guy died because, yeah, he had a, it was a weight that he was trying to lift up for some reason. He was trying to show off his, like, his gym moves or whatever Damn, what the is this? What is this? It was really stupid. Robotic what? Bagel. Robotic Bagel. I don't even know if the channel is still up. Uh, there might be like an archive. There might be an archive, but yeah. They had a reasonably big fan base. But yeah, uh, the guy was trying to show off his gym moves by lifting up this, uh, this, this barbell, whatever. So Eugene left a comment on the this like memorial video for the guy who died by lifting up her weight. God damn it! I was so and he close. Was like, he was like, he tried, he tried to lift damn. up the barbell, but he accidentally lifted himself up all the way to heaven. <laughs> <sighs> That's so touching. <laughs> I have somersaulted so fucking much over the course of this fight that I, I, I'm turning into like a fucking uh, like boulder from Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah. Internally, Travis is a gut swoon right now. <laughs> His innards are jammed. <laughs> You couldn't have, you know, done the fight in a room with better lighting. Yeah, I know. Couldn't we have done this in a nice, like, warehouse with lots of large fluorescent lights? Instead of this some fucking rankety, rinky-dink schoolhouse? You know, a tanning bed, perhaps? Yeah. Like a giant tanning bed? The sun? Yeah. I'm just, I'm just spitballing. Spitball. Yeah, I guess, you know. Also, my fucking left hand is literally going numb. Like, I actually need to stop for a second. Because my hand is just fucking, like... Okay. She, she's affecting you physically. It's like a creepypasta. Yeah. It's a fucking Godzilla idiot. Bulbasaur... I pinned the grandma pillar on Bulbasaur's head, and he started crying tears of blood. I figured it was a glitch <laughs> and kept playing. Uh, Raver, yeah. did you see that we got around to doing uh, Godzilla, Godzilla? I saw it, but I haven't gotten a chance to watch it yet. 
But I was, I saw, but I saw that you all did it. I was, re- I was happy to see you all got to it. What a doozy of a tail. Yeah, a real whale of a tail. With the most terrifying protagonist ever, or I mean antagonist. Oh yeah. And protagonist. Quite frankly, his stupidity uh, profoundly disturbed me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, every time we got to a picture of Red, we basically just burst it out laughing. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna take him Every serious. time he appeared, it was just laugh central with us. And people think he's horrifying. I mean, I think his he's, design, I think his design is nice. I'm sure. Especially, um, especially someone... I saw another drawing where they drew, like, for scale. And, like, how he's supposed to, They drew, like, a thing for scale, and he's supposed to be, like, way bigger than Godzilla is, which is... I think Godzilla's which, already really big. Well, yeah, it's like, it's like, wow, that, it's like, if Godzilla's the size of the sky, it's bigger than skyscrapers, and he is... And he looks tiny compared to whatever Red is, and that's... Then, yeah. I guess we're all the little we faces just laughed, We already. laughed at his face mainly, his yeah. droopy mouth. His face, and then like his little arms. Yeah. It, we, we, we did the, uh, oh, like, I remember chocolates. <laughs> oh, Godzilla. You, 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 you look way, pale. You Have you been eating lately? We, we, we did that. That was our, our voice for Red, like the entire creepy yeah. pasta. <laughs> Let's actually do that. You mentioned Indiana Jones earlier with the boulder. She likes doing the spinny dagger shit from Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. Well, it's too bad. I wish I just had a gun her. and just shoot her in the head once and kill her, yeah. Yeah. Then again, the last boss had a gun and that didn't help him much. Yeah. Yeah, that's. That that might 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 be a beef. I have with the game so far. Uh, Rayford, you remember uh, the Doctor Peace boss fight, the one you yeah, fight yeah. in the baseball field? Yeah. I don't know if you've seen, if you saw the uh, the video yet. We actually just posted it mm-hmm. today uh, when, when we did the boss fight, and I I could have sworn because the the level leading up to it, you know, I have, you have to fight the uh, baseball pitcher guys. We have to actually like you basically hit, you swing the beam katana to. You know, hit the baseball back at them. It's like a yeah. whole line of baseball pitchers. I swear, when they got to the when we got to the boss fight, and he was standing on the pitcher's mound, throwing, shooting the gun at me, I could have sworn that the game had that pitcher stuff before in the level in order to warm me up for the Doctor Peace boss fight. So I could have sworn the first several minutes. I, I totally thought that I was supposed to hit the bullets back at Adam with the lightsaber. Beam katana, whatever. Lightsaber, fuck it. And, um, I thought that's what it was, but it does Oh, of course, you, you can block it, but you can't, like, deflect them back at him. And Metal Gear you basically Solid just get 4. close to him, yeah. In Metal Gear Solid 4, there's a boss screaming Mantis, and she tries, and she does, like, a whole possession thing. To uh, she does like a possession thing on like your allies, whatever, and, and like yeah. deceased enemies, and um, and and um, when try when if you switch the controller to second player, like you would have to do because like you're to do that in Metal Gear Solid One to fight second matches. If yeah. you do that, if you do that in four, you get a special codec call where they're like when like God oh, damn oh, it, snake, fuck. What are, he's like snake. I hate what you do. He's like, my, what are you doing? My you hand keep keeps changing? going numb. <laughs> Don't stop believing. <laughs> we, we, we already gave it a stop believing. It's okay. Oh, yeah. That's okay. Gonna... Just stop. <laughs> We've already stopped believing. No, it's, like, it's okay. Just delete all the footage of you. Just like, just like, go back to the part where you went to the bathroom and just hard cut to you winning the match. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, that was way easier than we thought it was gonna be. No, I know what we're I know what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna cut away. We're like, okay, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, and then we're gonna cut to uh, you beating Dracula and Symphony of the Night <laughs> at the beginning. That would be perfect. And then cut move on no, to the rest of the world. I think you mean beating him in Rondo of Blood. I mean, I mean Symphony. Oh, Rondo. Yes, Rondo, yes, Rondo of Blood. Yes, Rondo of Blood. Come to me beating Dracula in Rondo of Blood on my first try with Richter. Yes. 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 
<laughs> exactly. Shinobu get her ass whooped. <laughs> Shinbu. Shinbu. I like call her Shinbu from now on. I have had enough of this goddamn chick. Had it up to here. Have you seen those pictures where I think they take like a hamster? Just sitting down, like just a normal hamster, like nothing wrong or anything. Yeah. Like, but it's just the hamster and it just says like, I've had it up to here, I can't take this anymore, I've had it. I don't think I've seen those. I don't They're very think loose. I have either. It's just like, it's just, just, you just like, it's just funny to sing like some small animals. Like, I've had it! I've had it with this shit! I've had it with this motherfucking shredded paper in this motherfucking cage! It sounds like fucking shredder from a certain Ninja Turtles parody on YouTube that we are not allowed to say name. out loud. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. Hose is like cheese on a board. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Bitch ass! You better be talking to God! Yeah. I miss Super Bear. Gotta go f Nope. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Alright. Well, Isn't that the name of a Seether song? Probably. Wait, no, it's no, it's fake it, never mind. Might as well be. <laughs> Basically the same thing. Let me fuck!